Welcome back, guys. So in this second video in our series on animating springs in SOLIDWORKS Composer, I'm going to go through a little bit more advanced workflow on animating our spring to help us avoid any of the geometry deformation or flattening out that we noticed in the first video. So as you can see here, I've got my coil open in SOLIDWORKS. Now, what I've done here is I've set up a couple configurations. As you can see for this first one, I've labeled it uncut. So we have our normal coil, one body, ready to go. In the second configuration, I've named it cut. What I've done is I've done an extrude cut in the back here to basically break up my coil into separate sections. Now what this is going to allow us to do is to move these separate sections independently in Composer so that we can get our uh, compressed appearance without getting into the geometry deformation like I mentioned before. So to highlight this, let me just close my coil here. And I'm going to go into Composer. And let's start by importing our assembly. Now when you import your assembly, you want to make sure that you import it in the uncut uh, configuration with the spring. This will make sure that we have two versions of the spring in our assembly. We're going to have the normal or uncut one, and we'll have our cut one that we're going to animate. So to go ahead here, let's uncheck merge file into one actor per part. This is going to be actually very important when it comes to doing this animation. So now that I have my strut assembly here in Composer, let's bring in our cut coil. So again, let's go to File, Open, and select our coil. Now this time, we're going to make sure that we have our cut configuration chosen. When we go into the Import Options, let's again uncheck Merge File into one actor per part. And on the right-hand side, let's choose Merge into the current document. This will bring our coil into the current Composer file that we have open, which is our strut assembly. Now by having Merge File into one actor unchecked, this will allow us to manipulate those separate sections of the coil independently from one another. If we had Merge File into one actor per part checked, our separate cuts would be recognized as one big component in Composer. So make sure that you have that unchecked. So as you can see, now my cut coil has also been brought into my strut assembly here in Composer. Now because the origin of my coil part is a little bit different from my assembly's origin, it's been brought kind of out of position. So just fix this. We're just going to use some of the align tools or you could use the translate tools to bring it down into the uh, standard position where the original coil is. So to do this, I'm just going to hide my coil here. So to do this, I'm just going to So to do this, I'm just going to hide my original coil. Let's make the cut coil visible, and I'm going to make sure that I select all of these different cuts here. If you have to, if you have to adjust the position of your cut coil, make sure that you select the entire set of cuts so that you're moving everything at once. And then I'm just going to use the plane to plane align to bring this down into position nice and easy. Okay, so now my spring is where it needs to be. Let's, let me just align the camera here. All right, so now that our coil, our cut coil has been brought into the uh, neutral position, we can go ahead and start animating it. So I'm going to just drag the timeline out here to half a second. And to start, I'm going to select my top piece of the uh, spring here and linear translate it down just a little bit to the distance where it would be compressed from the next part of the coil. And then what I'm going to do is control select the next piece and do the same exact thing. And I'm just going to repeat the process for the rest of these coils. Alright, so now that my coils have been brought down so that they look like they're in compression, I'm just going to bring down the rest of the strut assembly here and do the same thing. Okay, so now our strut looks like it's in compression. Let me just make sure that we have our location key set. So if we go back to the beginning of the animation here, we start in our neutral position, and then we compress. Now the difference here again from what we did the first time when we just scaled the geometry of the spring is our geometry here has been maintained. We still have a round spring. It's circular if we were to take a section view of it. That's what we want. It hasn't been flattened out at all. Alright guys, I hope these videos have been helpful in helping you guys animate your springs in Composer. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to post them below. And if you guys have any recommendations or requests for future videos, make sure to post those on the discussion page on the SOLIDWORKS Composer YouTube channel. Thank you guys very much for watching.